the, the media are saying essentially what they're, they're they're saying they're saying exactly what it is, but they're afraid to say the exact words of what it is. Peps, and this is the word: put it downhill skiers. Like it, it's just essentially what this club is. It is a team that doesn't handle doesn't handle the heat when it's applied, but very much when they're on top of their opposition, they look like millionaires. And they just don't want. And the AFL, I mean, the media don't want to say those words that they are downhill scares. Well, you know what? How about we say it? We'll put it online, and everybody who's a Port Adelaide, I'll even get a picture of a skier with maybe Jason Horn Francis's face on it, because they are downhill skiers, Jamie. They're bullies. They pick on the little guys, but when they have to come up against the big bikes, they fall away. Look at little Jason Horny Francis. I went away from North Melbourne because I didn't like it because I wanted to be closer to home. And then the boys were picking on me and so I then throw them to the ground and I give away goals and free kicks. Like, seriously, he's a nuffy. Um, Butters is the same. Oh, Butters yeah, is the same. Butters is the same. And don't worry about all cheap shots, Rosie. Like, he throws cheap shots behind the pack. Butters, he, he throws the elbows when he can. He throws them into the back of the ribs and the kidneys, etc. when he's running past. But he cops and has a bit of a sook. Like, you've got to be able to give it and take it at the same time. And you know what? Port Adelaide love to give it and take it. They've been, giving, they've been pitching and catching for many, many years. And they are downhill skiers, Jamie. And I want you to get angry. I want you to get angry and just rip into them. Mm, I just because can't. Peps, I'm I'm so I'm so emphatic towards my own club with it all that I just I want change, um, but we'll have to just wait it out. We are we are just as, as a club. I think that we are close to done done with the current structures. Are today. you are you going to be the next West Coast? Are you going to hold on to your coach eighteen months longer than you should? Um, it depends what your definition is. Like West Coast, it's it's hard because West Coast had won twenty eighteen. They won the thing. We've never won the thing. I know, but you're not going to win the thing. So We're you're unlikely. Win, yeah, you're unlikely to win it. I agree. If you're unlikely to win it. Why would you keep going with him? And others yeah. in those positions as well too, at a board level. At a mm -hmm. coaching support level. Like, there's so many layers to it. It is like, a, you know, an AFL Sarah Lee cheesecake. But something has to give. A Viennetta. Oh, don't start on the Viennettas. Viennettas are good. It's got layer on layer on layer on layer. Mm -hmm. um, Peps, they're all very valid questions and a lot of Port Adelaide supporters. you got the diehards. I get it. you got the people who are glued on. They'll never see a bad thing. But a lot of the just the the... the they're over it. They're over it, Peps. You know what, Jamie? I think that a supporter who sits here and goes, yes, it's all good, it's all great, etc." they're false in my eyes. They're, they're not real because you have to see it for what it is. You have to say you have to really enjoy the good times and really, you know, when things are going bad, really say how it feels because in any other facet of life, if that happens, you get a pat on the black back when you're doing well and you get a kick in the ass when you don't. So why is it any different with a football team? Great, great points, Peps. Great points. Well, I reckon I'd love to hear what the, the Port Adelaide supporters think about that. Where is your team going? Like, was it Asava? Was he? He wasn't even there. Like, Asava's not playing. Ryan and Dixon. Yeah. Uh, uh, who's improved this year? Can I ask that question? Who has improved? I would honestly, I'd say, I'd say probably gone backwards. I'd say we've got backwards players. Yep. Backwards. Mate, there's, um, there's a lot coming in on, on the chat. Players are over the hill. Horn Han Francis has lost the plot. I won't have a, I won't have a bad word to play about, say about Horn Francis because he plays socks up, black boots. Two big ticks in my books. Outside of that, reality checks, mate. They might need to get the Mark Neal reality checks out and um, start writing a few. Well, I do wonder, I do wonder what's going to happen at the end of the year. I mean, obviously, you know, you've got uh, Chubby Boke who's been a, a, an absolute worry for the club. Oh, at the end of it, has he been a servant of the he club? Has he has. De you're, you're one of your favourites. Been a I servant. Harder with the servant. Dixon um, has probably never been a forward in 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 a, a failure. Has, he's been probably in a failure in, in a word. Never his body right. Not a great kick. Um, and never really taken season after season. Like you know, fifty plus goals. Never yep. really happened. Um, 
And then Radical Leo just looks like a bust. Um, Brennan Zerk Thatcher looks like a bust at the moment for us. Just can't keep his feet. And the midfield, we love Horn Francis. We absolutely love him. We love Zach Butters. We love Rosie. But it is just it they just get walked over and they don't seem to stop the um stop the blood from flowing there. Yep. Um we've got a forward line that is absolutely debacle. Uh, di- sorry, diabolical and it has not been fixed under Ken Hinckley for twelve years now. Like that's just how can you not have a forward line working when you've got um you know, tall young kids going there going, you don't look like a good forward line. They're tall, young, fearless, but we just have the most meekest of forwards that you've ever seen. I would almost go as far as your recruiting has been poo as well. Yeah, I just think it's just purely on development. I, I, I have yeah. no doubt if you turned a Marshall, who is 200 plus centimetre, has been on our list for a long time, but is seriously built, He's he's he's, he's built like me. He needs, on, he needs to get on a filth off. He needs to get on the filth off. If he was yeah. in Melbourne or a Collingwood or another club, he would, he would be huge. He would be big. But oh. he's not. He's just um, no, low effort. Yeah. Um, there's lots of problems. There's lots of problems with Port Adelaide. And I just do hope that uh, whoever we get next to the next coach, whether it's a car, whether it's a whoever we get in, um, just – just makes work unenjoyable for a little bit for them because at the moment you've got a lot of players who are very comfortable who mm-hmm. are enjoying their jobs but not necessarily because they are enjoying winning they just like being in a nice environment mm. that's footballers for you mate that's footballers, that's footballers. hey i'd love to hear what everybody else thinks leave a comment subscribe ring the bell j-dog on fire